Hi again. So, there you have it. Your new system is up and running. Well, if you shut it down, I'm just checking out. Yeah, everything is running here. So I can uh, do a lot of things here and every time I do a click here, I'm actually sending a request to the server and getting a response back from the server. And in this case, the re request is delete something. So it's a delete request and the response is it's deleted. So update your page. That's my guess. So let's figure out how all this is done before we move on. I want to build your first endpoint very soon. And uh, before we do that, I want to explain two things for you. And one is how this actually works in a more graphical way. And the second thing is I'm going to explain to you what Postman is and how we can use that for testing our endpoints. So let's start out with just explaining what's going on here when we send requests and get responses from a server from a client. So <clears throat> I've drawn this beautiful picture. I try here to present to you, we have a client here and he has some kind of IP. The IP is not important, the address. But the way we make our client is using AngularJS. Then we have another client here just to show you what can happen and that's uh, an Android application or whatever you can figure out. So it's from a phone somewhere. Then we have the internet. We have a server here which is our server. Right now it's on, on localhost. And just so you know, actually this guy is also on localhost right now. But he could be anywhere in, in, the, in the cloud when we're done with this. So the server is going to work with Express and Node.js. So that's why I drew these two here. And that of course talks down here and gets information back here from the database, which is our Mongo. This is pretty much a basic distributed system setup. And some people say that this is our tier one. So this is uh, one of the tiers and this is second tier. It pretty much means that it can be on two different computers if you want to. In our case, we're only using one tier here. We have everything mixed up in one on one server right now. So let me just real briefly uh, show you where these guys actually are. So I'll stop my Atom just to show you and let it launch here. So here I have my application, the course planner application. And if I open that one, you'll actually see there's a client side and a server side. So in here, in the server side, let me just go back to the picture. That's all the code we have in here. That's the server side of it. So the other folder in here in my scaffolder solution is the client side. Now the client side contains all the things we need over here, right? So that's kind of what it built for us. It built all the code we need to do this and all the code we need to do this. So what's going to happen? So what happens when I actually press this delete right here? Well, it actually sends what we call a delete request. So I'll just write delete here if I can. It'll send a delete request with a lot of information inside this kind of, let's call it an envelope. That was why I kind of drew this. It's sending a request with a lot of information. One of the information it's sending that's very important is what type of request is it? And that's where we say it's a delete request. It also sends information about where to go because just let's play around with a postman on here. A guy who says, where do you send this letter? Where do I, where do I post it to? Where do I send it to? And actually, the delete request also informs here who's the server who's going to achieve, to get this request. That's actually an eight. Let me just try and pretty that up for a second. That's actually an eight here. Dot zero, dot zero, dot one. Oh, it should say seven. Good job, Lars. But you know my point. So it's actually sending here to the to somebody out here in the cloud who can then using the HTTP protocol say, okay, so this needs to go to this server right here. Now this server does something and we really don't care what it does. But in here it takes care of reading the data and passing, opening the envelope and somehow using Express, it actually pulls out all the information required from here. And the most important ones for us is, as I said, the delete request, where it's coming from. And maybe there's actually some data in here as well in some kind of body. We'll get back to the body when we open Postman but inside a body, we can put some extra information if we want to as JSON. So all this data is sent over here and somehow the server knows how to unwrap it using Express. We'll try and write code about that later. So we take that and then we figure out, okay, since it's a delete request, 
we know that we should delete something in the database. So delete something in the database, it says DEL, delete something in the database, the database says, well, that went fine, it's deleted. Delete, check mark, everything is good. And then somehow Express takes um, over again and makes a response. So that's the response right here, a new envelope. And in that response, it knows where to send this message back. So not only do we have where to go, we also know where we're coming from inside this envelope of information. So let me try and draw that. So we know where we're actually sending this data from. And that's being sent back to the response, goes into the net and goes back to the client. Now the client gets information back from the server. In this case, everything is deleted. And when I do it, it removes it and refreshes the page. That was a single request. And that happens all the time. So we have delete request, which takes care of deleting things. Then we have what we call put requests, which takes care of updating things. So I'm just going to show you the different requests compared to the CRUD setup. That's the update. If we have one called post, that's actually creating something. So that's the create of things. Sorry for my beautiful letters here, I'm doing my best. And then the last one we have is actually get, a get request. And that's actually what we do when we wanna read things. So that's the read, okay? So if we look at our CRUD setup, the C is the post request, the R is the get request, the U in the CRUD is the put request, and the delete is also the delete request. So every time somebody does one of these requests, it actually sends something over the wire, does something on the server, sends a response back, and does something on the client. That's pretty much what you need to know right now.